In today's Adobe XD design and prototype tutorial, we're gonna be creating this card swipe effect where it kind of curves out of the way. It looks nice and natural. And I'm gonna show you guys how to design and set this up. So that's today's video. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is start by adding some guides. And before I do that, I just wanna let you guys know the completed project file for this is available in the community tab for those of you who are members on the channel. So if that interests you, you can go over there and grab this project file. Uh, so I'm going to select the artboard and I'm just going to drag out a guide that's 25 points from the left, the right, and then we'll do another one after that that's 20 from that. And we're going to do that again on this side, 20 from that guide. So we have all of these guides set up on the left and the right. Then I'm gonna drag one down from the top, that's 54 points from the top of the artboard. Then 176 from that one. And then another one that is 153 from that one. And these are gonna give us a good starting point for the design so that we can dive right into the prototype tab. Today I'm gonna to be using SF Pro Display Font. That is Apple's font, so if you download the Adobe XD Apple UI kit, you'll have that available. And we're gonna start with the skip button in the top here. So I'm just gonna zoom in, grab the type tool and type in skip. We're gonna make this a body size font. So 16 points, medium weight and align that to the right. And that's gonna go on our farthest guideline to the right there in the corner. Next, we're gonna have a heading and a paragraph below that. So I'm going to hold alt just to grab a duplicate of that text so we have something to work with. Center align that, and our heading is gonna be quite large, so we're just gonna drag down from that point until we get to about 36 points in size, and then we'll bump up the weight to bold, and we'll just go ahead and set that to black. I'm gonna to touch that to our second guide from the top, which is gonna put that at 130 points from the top of the artboard. Below that, we're gonna have a paragraph, so I'm just going to swap this to a text area, hold alt and drag out. We'll center align that and then I'm just going to drag this to each guide right here. So it is 45 from each side of the artboard and I'm gonna paste in some dummy text just to get some content on the screen. Double clicking on that red point will expand that text area and vertically we're gonna position this about 13 points below our heading just to give our heading some good space. For our prototype, we're gonna have two different cards. So we're gonna create the first one and then duplicate it for the one behind it. So I'm gonna drag out a rectangle and I'm gonna make this 324 wide by 435 high. Grabbing this dot here in the corner to adjust the border radius value, we'll drag it nice and round to 30. Remove the border and for now, I'll just change this to a gray color just so we can see it. Inside of this card, we're gonna make this a group in just a minute, but I want two elements. One, I want a paragraph, and then down below, I want one of two showing the number of cards following after. So I'm gonna grab this text and hold Alt to make a duplicate. Go into your Layers panel and drag it above. I'm gonna set the fill color to white, and we'll bump it up just slightly bigger to 24 points. And we can even leave it at medium weight. And then I'm going to hold Alt as I drag from this side in, just to make this a little bit more narrow, about 264 wide. To position this, I'm gonna put it 50 from the top of the card, and we should have 30 on each side. Finally, we'll align that to the left, just so it looks a little bit nicer. And that's our text for our card. Down in the corner, we're gonna have one of two, so I'm just gonna go ahead and type that out. And this text is a secondary text, so it's gonna be quite small all the way down to 14 points, I think will look pretty good. We'll leave it at medium as well. And for the position of this, we're gonna align that with the body of text right here. So that should be 30 from the artboard. And then we'll align this from the bottom visually. 40 looks pretty good. So this is our card. So I'm just going to click and drag until I grab everything and Command G to group it. Here in the layers panel, we'll just call this card one. Before we create our second card, let's go ahead and create the paging dots below it. Just gonna grab the circle tool, hold shift and drag out a circle. And let's go ahead and make this an even 12 by 12. For now, we'll just set it to a random gray color, hold alt and duplicate it. And then we'll position that seven from the original one, grabbing both of them, command G to group, and then we'll just center them to the artboard and position that 50 below our 
main card. It's going to double click to get into that group and we'll just set that one to 50% opacity on the right there just so we can tell which one's selected. And finally for our quick wireframe here, we just need to duplicate this card. So I'm gonna hit Command C, Command V to duplicate it. Drag it off to the pasteboard so we can do some edits without messing anything up. And we'll just change this to two of two. And the first thing we need to do is scale it down so when it's behind, it's not the same size as the card. So I'm gonna hold Shift and Alt as I scale from the corner. And we're gonna drag that all the way down to around 296 on the width. Now we're going to need to make some minor adjustments to the text inside. Our text here in the bottom right scaled down to 13. For now, we'll leave that. We'll select our body text, however, and we'll make it just a little bit smaller so that when we slide over to this card, it's going to expand and get a little bit bigger. And then let's change the color on this card to something a little darker, and we'll just drag it in to our existing artboard. From the exact center of this card, we're going to drag it over to that guide right here on the far right. Command Shift, left square bracket key to send it all the way to the back. And then we'll rename this card two and we'll drag card one above it. Double clicking on the artboard, I'm just going to change this to wireframe. With that selected, Command D and we'll go ahead and finish off the design. And semicolon to turn off our guide since we no longer need to see them. And I'm going to select the text and let's just make this a bluish black so it's not completely black. Make it a little bit more green probably. So somewhere around this area will look pretty good. For the skip button and this text, we'll make them the same color. Same thing going into the blue tones. Just adding a little bit of blue and lightening them up just slightly. Maybe something like that. For the first card, we'll leave the text at white. I'm gonna grab that background and let's make that a nice reddish, maybe even peach color. So we'll go over here into the orangish tones. Maybe even make it orange. That might look pretty cool. Something nice and light, but something that our text looks good on, that white text there. I think we'll go with that. I'm gonna grab that card in the background there and just bring it to the front with Command Shift, right square bracket key, just so we can see it for now. And we'll grab the color on that one. And let's go with a purple, I think. And notice when I'm doing these colors, I'm trying to keep the slider in a similar area. So if I go back to this fill, you can see where the slider is at just to make sure that these look good together. We don't want something like way over here. This just clashes too hard. So somewhere in this area, these light colors will look good with this. Something like that maybe. And then command shift left square bracket key to send that behind. We'll see how that looks. Might even make it a little darker. And finally, I'm going to grab that body color and I'm just going to apply that to our dots. And then this one just needs to be a slight bit lighter. So we'll drag that down to maybe 40. So now that we have our design ready to prototype, we're gonna go ahead and name this artboard design one, hit command D and call this one design two. Swapping to the prototype tab, I'm gonna set this one as our home artboard and we'll set up our wires. I'm gonna select card number one and drag a wire over. This is going to be a drag interaction, auto animate, and the destination is going to be the second artboard. And we'll add a little ease out on that just so it looks good. And instead of swiping back, I'm going to just for now, I'm going to link the skip button back to the original just so we have a way of looking at the effect and going back to the original. So we'll set that to a tap auto animate and we'll animate that over 0.3 seconds with an ease out. So right now nothing's going to happen just because we don't have anything different. So Adobe XD is not going to realize that it needs to animate anything. So I'm just going to drag these away from the wireframe. Then here on our end state, when we drag on this card, we want it to rotate. So I'm going to hold shift and I'm going to do about negative 45 degrees, I think. And I like to think of this as a circle. So when we swipe on this, it's going to go circular so we swipe over and it kind of curves out of the way so if you look at the corner it kind of matches there and it follows like a circle pattern like that 
And then we want this card to be in the center. And then we also want to scale it up to the size of this one over here. So this one is 324 wide. So we're gonna hold shift and alt and scale from the corner to 324. And we just need to check our spacing and make sure it's in the same position as the original, just so it scales up properly. Make sure our text scales to 24 points. So we'll just change that. And then check this text scales to 14. And we just swap the opacity over on this to 100% and this one to 40. All right. So now when we drag this out of the way, it's going to curve down here to the bottom. Our dot's going to change and this card will expand. And then we can hit skip to go back to the start state. So we'll hit live preview and we can drag our card out of the way. And then our card pops into view and our dot changes. You can see our text is kind of disappearing there as it's scaling up. So to fix that, I'm just going to go into the card two, bring it to the front real quick, and we'll just expand this box down a bit. And then we can send it back to the back. So now if we check the live preview, you can see that it's not disappearing on us. It's just getting a little bit bigger. And one final thing I forgot to do, we'll just change the text on both of these to explore and then we are done with our design. So that's how easy it is to set up a simple swipe interaction like this. You can easily do this with more cards and just keep swiping through them. Just wanted to show you guys the basic setup of this. I think it looks pretty good. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. Make sure you subscribe for more design and Adobe XD related content, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. So as always, have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one.